Cruising is a wonderful way to have some quality family time while exploring quality different destinations. With the cruise, you can really relax and wind and also have all the convenience and safety of being on a ship. So many of your needs are so easily met just within all of the different decks. So today we're gonna to talk about all the ins and outs of what are some of the top 10 things to do on an MSC cruise when cruising with your children. From choosing the kids clubs activities to where the whole family can get involved, uncovering those perfect activities to keep everyone entertained and involved. So welcome parents and grandparents who are looking to travel with children. Let's face it, one of the most popular ways to travel these days are actually multi-generational travel. So that's with parents, grandparents, and the kiddos. And there's so many great options with different cruise lines targeting multi-generational families, meaning that you're ready to hit the high seas as a clan and everyone's coming along. So it's one of my goals to help you get the most out of your cruise vacations, making sure that you're going into this hard earned vacation prepared and ready for a fantastic cruise. So if that sounds good to you, go ahead. I encourage you to subscribe and hit the notification bell so we can get right on into the top 10 things. Lego masters rejoice as you can build the most incredible Lego masterpiece in the mini club. Get ready because they have thousands of bricks and games within the mini club for you to get incredibly creative. Not only can you build, but then you can also test them on racetracks. You can have a lot of different fun and particularly on their newest flagship, the MSE Seascape, you can get kind of creative with all of the astronaut and space themed Legos as well. But no matter what ship you're on, you will see Lego masterpieces throughout the entire fleet. Now this room that we saw here is designed for the kiddos who are aged three to six years old. And it's important to note that when you're cruising with kids, you really need to consider their needs for their different age groups. And that's why they have different segments within the kids clubs breaking up for the youngest children and different age groups as such. And you'll find that the ships even provide babysitting programs, youth programs that are really ideal for the parents and grandparents to take that well-deserved break, perhaps visit the thermal spa, you know, however you see fit, relax by the jungle pool, enjoy in on your own time when you drop off those kids. And the older kids can enjoy some of those robust activities and games all throughout the ship. And we'll dive into those as well. For the youngest cruisers on board, I'm talking about infants to three years old, there's the baby club. And this is where you can play with Chico toys. Now, depending on what ship you are cruising on with MSC and where you are cruising to, you may see different types of toys and this is where it's kind of cool because not only do they have all Chico toys, but they have Chico products throughout the ship. So if you're needing a height chair for those youngest cruisers like I did in the main dining room, those are available to you. I had a comment on a recent video asking if that's something that I brought with me. No, it's not. It's great that they actually have that all for you. And Valencia saw some other kids using it. So of course she wanted to use it as well. Funny how that always works. We spent a lot of different times in the mini club throughout our cruises thus far on the different ships and doing some along side by side playtime. This is where I could hang out and enjoy with her, explore all of the different uh, games and, and toys with Chico products here. That was a lot of fun and it provides an opportunity to get out of the cabin, get out of the room and enjoy some of those products. They additionally had a toy lending program for her age group, which was fantastic. So we actually brought back a toy or two back to the room, signed it out and just made sure I returned it by the end of the cruise, then I wouldn't be charged for it. So that was amazing. So I could get myself ready for dinner and have her preoccupied with something in the room and I didn't have to pack it in my suitcase. Love that. If some of your older kids love to play sports, well, they're in luck because they can play soccer, basketball, dodgeball, different sports every single day. And there's often activities for them to have tournaments and matches together within these games. Pickleball is a whole other phenomenon, very uh, common to play on cruise ships and a fun one. So you can look out for that. And by the way, if you're looking for specific activities for the kids clubs, I'm gonna encourage you to head over to my website, alanazingano.com or open the description 
description box as I've put together all of the Kids Club activities from the daily programs so you can see exactly what was offered which days so you know ahead of time prior to your cruise preparing yourself for what's to come and perhaps it'll get your kiddos excited knowing what is offered on your ship. If you want to take a little bit more of the sideline approach and not get too active in those sports you can be uh, on watcher of a do re mi parade. Now do re mi has the opportunity to pop up all around throughout the ship and kind of entertain our families, say hello, pose with pictures with them. We actually had the opportunity to take some really fun photos with him and, and have that selfie along with a Lego sailor to be on the lookout for that as well. Those are some memorable photos that you might be able to capture throughout your cruise. Depending on the age group of your child, if they are in the mini clubs or the teen rooms, there's a lot of different games for them to play, specific, specifically video games. You can spend hours on end uh, with all the different arcade games from Namco, also PS4, PlayStation Virtual Reality, Nintendo games are all available within these different mini club groups within Do Re Mi Land. Perhaps you limit some of that screen time, some of those games at home. This might be the chance for the let the kids have at it a little bit with some of those PS4 games and enjoy a little bit of all of the different games that they perhaps don't have at home as well. And if you happen to be traveling on the newest flagship, the MSC Seascape, you can take that tip even further and head over to the Hall of Games because they have so many different arcade games available for you. This is outside of the Kids Club, but this is where you can pay for the arcade, you can pay for virtual reality, along with the, get this, Formula One racing, along with other games like virtual reality, different type of things that are really ideal for those preteens, teens getting involved. There's also different specials and deals that you can uh, purchase into, different packages if you wanna buy it ahead of time, or even Robotron on the newest ship as well. How could I forget to mention that? But I'll price up, I'll put up all the pricing here so you can see how they work the different packages along with some of the freebies as well of buying a certain dollar amount and then getting some extras as well. Be sure to look out for those daily planners as well for those kids at heart. I'm talking about those adults that wanna participate as well. If you haven't purchased any of those but you wanna experience a bit of it, certain days of your cruise, you'll have sales or specials to where you can get in on the fun and experience some of these things without having to purchase a big package and this buy one get one in a sense for just a doll. And now taking all of the activities outside because hopefully you're having good weather on your cruise you'll want to hang out in all of the different aqua parts where you can splash the day away really spending hours in all of the streaming showers the colorful playgrounds on board the Do Re Mi Spray Park, the Aqua Cove, Pirate's Cove, so much fun to really be had here. And these different areas will be kind of targeted towards the different age groups offering slides for different height requirements and really big slides as well, even going over the side of the ship, which is a little scary, but a whole lot of fun. So you can enjoy all of that as well. If you're looking to have some family time on board encompassing everyone getting involved, you're in luck because they have a Do Re Mi talent show. This is driven by music and they also have special silent disco technology that is specific for some family time, Do Re Mi music match game show as well, where you can guess the song and beat the parents as well, which is gonna be a lot of fun. And then also this is for winning prizes. So who doesn't wanna earn some bragging rights? I know my family can get pretty competitive if there is a prize involved. Perhaps you'll walk away with some new MSC swag. Now, if you're traveling with any teens and they are uh, not really too keen on all of the family time, they wanna hang out with some of those other teens and their age group, don't worry. There's a lot going on for them as well with the MSC teens activities. There's so much so that they even have their own awards show, which is pretty cool. They have different events where they have and nominees and awards and even the coolest teen on board. So different things involved in that with their talent shows, but a lot of fun for them to get involved. And additionally, they have the Teens Club Live, which is TCL. 
This is a dedicated live game show every night at the disco and they can play, be a player or hang out and watch. Speaking of those bragging rights, how would it feel to be in the Guinness Book of World Records? I know as a teen, I would definitely come back from my vacation showing off to all my friends that new award under my belt for sure. This is a really cool opportunity where the whole family can get involved. One of the ac many activities, but there's a Guinness World Records title attempts taking place right on board the cruise ship. And it's just like the TV show, record baking fun for the entire family. So that'll take place. And I am gonna have to win that next time I'm on board. One area that I think that is really cool considering you're watching this video on YouTube is the Cabin 12006 web series that's actually available on YouTube as well. So this is a web series where the kids can follow along another first time cruiser named Marcus as he has a really unexpected adventure on board his MSC cruise. So some fun storylines in that regard and, and saving the best for last, one of my favorite activities for the teens on board as a drone pilot myself. I'm pretty, I'm pretty intrigued by this. It's uh, the Drone Academy, and this is through different obstacle courses. They can practice drone flying, fast flying at night as well. They can really test their skills. Quite the adrenaline rush that I think a lot of teenagers will love. Getting the chance to experience this. I wish I had this hone my skills a little bit earlier in life here. So super, super cool. I really think that's fantastic. So we've discussed a lot of different specific activities that are available throughout the ships for them to partake in. But I wanna make a note that it's important to review a lot of the other onboard activities when you're making a decision on where to spend your vacation dollars and what ship you wanna do as well within the MSC fleet. So the onboard amenities that are offered are pretty cool considering that they're there's food designed for kids, like a mini kid buffet where it's lower leveled. And of course, kid finger foods that they'll enjoy. And different cruise lines operate differently in this regard of how they prioritize themselves being a family cruiser. So family cruise line rather. So that's kind of cool that MSC does prioritize this. So within the kids corner, you'll find that on a variety of different healthy dishes for children, different meal times as well. Really kind of like things that they'll enjoy. And there's different snacks around the clock, along with crepes, ice creams, other tasty snacks for them. And then um, different specialty menus as well in case any of your kiddos have allergies, food restrictions, things of that sort. Of course, one other thing for you to think about is the different shore excursions that are offered. Will those best suit your adolescent age group? And if you're interested in seeing a video on this whole topic right here, let me know further in the comments and I can come up with some more to discuss that with you. I'm gonna leave you with some thoughts here about thinking about how long your cruise is going to be, along with some of the best times to cruise. You're probably thinking about cruising during a school break and one of those cruise vacations, things to think about as you hit the like button and before you click off the video is that some of the amenities and activities during those school breaks could be a little bit different than what we managed, what we talked about here in the sense that the ships are probably going to be a bit fuller and uh, for example, when we sailed on the MSC Divina and we visited Do Re Mi Land, we were playing alongside in the infant to three-year-old room, the mini club. And this was really not crowded and we had the whole place to ourselves essentially. And we had that experience because we were traveling uh, during a time where it wasn't that busy. So just something to keep in mind that your experience may vary depending on the length of your cruise and along with the time of year. There's so many different plethora of activities on board that we didn't even get a chance to mention along with art classes, trivia, game shows, cooking challenges for one. This one I think is worth actually having a moment of spotlight. Master Chefs at Sea is based off a TV show as well. That's a lot of fun for the kids to get up on the theater stage and participate in. So if you're curious into that, again, you make sure you look at those daily programs so you don't miss it. And those kids specific daily programs as well. 
There really is so much that goes into traveling with your entire family. It can be an overwhelming experience. So if you're leaving here wanting to know more about what your ship looks like, where you can eat, different reviews, my thoughts on other different topics, so much more. Check out this playlist right here. As you can see, so much more for your MSC cruise. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, ciao for now.